Glamorgan made a wonderful start to their latest LV County Championship match against Lancashire at Colwyn Bay, a day on which 14 wickets fell. Glen Chapel won the toss and batted, but not for the first time this season, Paul Horton was out without offering a shot, Michael Hogan with the success with just the second ball of the match. Watched by a good crowd in North Wales, Glamorgan could hardly have asked for a better start, but normal service was resumed for the next 20 minutes or so as Carl Brown and Luke Proctor settled in under the blue skies of Ross-on-Sea. Lancashire were, though, two down inside seven overs, Brown the next man to go, slightly late on his shot and being bowled by Hogan. Lancashire are one of the big favourites for promotion this summer, but their opening two matches have been drawn on batsman-friendly pitches at the Emirates Old Trafford. This surface offered a bigger test for their batsmen, although Proctor in particular was coping with things rather well, although there was the occasional moment of fortune in his knock. He'd been joined early in the piece by Ashwell Prince, a man who started his second division summer in a very positive frame of mind. He seemed to be putting Lancashire where they wanted to be, as he and Proctor added a steady 40 runs for the third wicket. But the reconstruction of this innings was ended after 15 overs by Jim Allenby, who got enough wobble on this delivery to trap Proctor in front for what turned out to be an innings top score of 26. Six balls later and Prince was also out, another leg before decision, this time off the bowling of Michael Reed. And when Stephen Croft also fell in the opening session, unable to keep a pull off Reed down and offering a leaping Murray Goodwin a catch at mid-wicket, the visitors were in some bother on 66 for 5. But they still had Simon Katic at the crease, another who started this summer in terrific form, he and Gareth Cross steadied the ship in adding 30 runs either side of the break for lunch. But the Lancashire innings rather crumbled once Cross on nine gave John Glover his first wicket of the season with another positive LBW decision. The hundred still hadn't been posted when Katic was the seventh man out, edging Glover behind in his next over to depart for 19. And Glover now made it three in three overs by also trapping Kyle Hogg in front, Glamorgan being well rewarded for doing the basics right. Next over and Chapel gave Alan B some catching practice off Hogan as Lancashire found themselves precariously placed on 103 for 9. They would not have expected to have to leave it to the last pair of James Anderson and Simon Carrigan to bat themselves to a position of decency. Yet these two survived for a dozen overs in adding 20, Anderson becoming only the fourth of their players to make it into double figures. The England man was left unbeaten on 11 as a floaty ball from Marcus North proved too much for Carrigan, who edged to slip. Having dismissed Lancashire for just 123, Glamorgan were batting before T. Ben Wright and Will Bragg saw out the remainder of the session, but on the restart the former could do little, with a fine delivery from Anderson which was gloved to the keeper. Anderson was certainly making the most of the conditions and now bowled Stuart Walters for 15, which left the hosts on 36 for 2. Anderson was the main threat for Lancashire, but he couldn't restore parity by himself. Bragg now batted with some determination in partnership with North, who was a little more expansive. It was of course important for these two, once in, to stay in and reward their side's bowlers for their endeavours earlier on in the day. The match was already moving on at a pace, and so these two could bat with a fair amount of care and attention as they added an important 46 for the third wicket in 13 overs. What they would have really liked to have done was see out the rest of the day so their side could rest easy ahead of the second day. But that was not to be, as both batsmen fell in quick succession. On 34, the best score of the day, Bragg, having survived for more than two hours, tried to turn a ball from Kerrigan to leg, and became the fifth LBW victim of the day. While North on 22 became the sixth, as Anderson switched ends to very good effect. There were still seven overs left for Lancashire to add to the 14 wickets which had already fallen, but they instead were safely negotiated by Goodwin and Allenby. They put on an additional 21 runs before the close to ensure that it was Glamorgan who ended this first day very much the happier of the two teams. They'll resume, heads held high on the second morning on 110 for four, trailing by only 13 runs, but will be mindful of Anderson, who's claimed figures of three for 28 from his 15 overs to date.